Hi, and welcome to my presentation about consent education for incoming students. This idea came about as I was having discussions with my daughter uh, about consent in all these different formats. And she just started her first semester of college this fall. And in these discussions, I discovered that her local college that she's attending, Northwestern Michigan College, doesn't have a consent education program either within their student affairs department or their Title IX department or any of these sexual assault and violence prevention programs. So one of the things that we're starting to see is that students are getting a lot of their information about sex and consent from shows like Euphoria, which are depicting sexual activities and sexual situations that may not generally occur. Things like rough sex and students are interpreting this that this is okay. And while it may be consensual, we still need to discuss it with students that they need to get consent for this. So as students are kind of experiencing their first real taste of freedom away from their parents, we as student affairs professionals need to be able to discuss all of these different aspects of consent with our students. Contrary to the title of my poster, we do understand and know that consent is not just this binary of yes or no, it's so much more. But I felt that check yes or no kind of harkens back to those first instances of consent that we engage with as children. Do you like me? Check yes or no. Do you want to play with me? Check yes or no. So it really felt like this accessible title that could bring people in to then have this larger discussion of consent. So in speaking with Troy Kierzaninski, who is the Title IX coordinator at Northwestern Michigan College, they have not had any Title IX cases in the last two to three years because the dorms have been closed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. But as they have reopened, they are seeing that their students are not having the same level of engagement with their peers that students have had in the past. And this is impacting their dating relationships and the relationships that they're having with their peers. And some of the impacts on students is that they're just not cognizant of what consent means or that consent is an ongoing process. So they don't think about the fact that just because Susie says yes yesterday, that does not mean Susie says yes tomorrow. So we have to teach them and understand that this is something that you have to continually be discussing with your partners. And it even impacts student affairs professionals because many of the programs that are available are profit driven and they don't take into account student development or how universities are run. And student affairs professionals really need to be involved in the development and disbursement of consent education programs because they understand college student development and they have experience dealing with these different crises that may arise when it comes to sexual assault or sexual violence or even just dating on campuses. And as we look to the future and other areas of research, something that we really need to look at are how these consent scripts apply to LGBTQ students or racially minority students. So all of the studies have been done on straight white males, straight white females as they go into relationships. But how does that consent look different with other student populations? So that is definitely an area that should be researched further.